So, uh, well, uh, thank you very much again, Erwin, for uh, inviting me here. Sure. Also for Joe and for Nora and for Sharon, who's uh, my right hand lady, and my WDS team. Our WDS um, is World Development Systems, and uh, we have a little company in the UK, and we export all over the world <coughs> uh, our products. So, I'd like to continue the theme of elephants. Um, and particularly the informational side uh, of elephants that we were talking about. And I'd like to run through a few slides. I only have a few slides, but I've got a lot to say. Uh, I can speak for England, so 45 minutes, you might have to remind me. <laughs> um, so we'll start off with this. I, didn't, I normally wear a t-shirt. I like, I like uh, making slogans for my t-shirts. Unfortunately, uh, a brand new t-shirt, and it shrunk in the wash. Uh, so I couldn't get it on, so I made a slide of it anyway. So this is about duality, and uh, duality is not two times oneness. So this is a dyslexic thing, so uh, if you're dyslexic you know exactly what I mean by uh, this sort of thing, a mix up of words and uh, double meanings and things, it's something that I do. Um, <coughs> foreigners may not understand that, but uh, it's sort of an English humour. <laughs> okay, so our company, um, which I started 25 years ago, is involved with creating technology that um, assists people in their evolution to evolve their consciousness. Now, uh, let's pass. Well, thank you very much. That's much easier. Thank you. So, we, we started a company 25 years ago, and the goal was to uh, help people evolve on their spiritual path, whatever that was. I'm not a religious person, um, so I'll tell you that straight away, but I am a spiritual person. And so the idea was to create technology to help people evolve. Now what I mean by that is that we've all got some sort of blockages, and we've got conditioning, religious stuff, education, uh, can all put a heavy load on um, our individuality and our spirituality. So I set, up, set, up, set about to try and release some of these energetic blockages from a person's biofilm. <clears throat> and in doing so, um, we've created a series of technologies. And it's been an incredible journey for us, and we're having such a lot of fun with it. And things are really hotting up. I'm going to give you a little, little example. Um, I, have a, I have a terrestrial team, Sharon, and uh, we have people on the, on the planet. But also, um, as Jude mentioned, there are other beings that help us guide and things like that, which is great. They give us a great lot of information, and uh, it's a very special time <coughs> when we connect and in meditation, which is also incredibly important, I think, um, to bring some of this stuff through. So not long ago, about a year ago actually, a um, year and a half ago, I had this meditation, it was an open eye meditation, I was just talking to somebody in a sort of an altered state, and my inner guides, my inner, inner tell, not intel, but inner tell, it's got to be catching that. And my inner tell was showing me this vision. And the vision was that there was this road, and uh, there was a line, a finite line in the road. And um, this is an analogy for where the world is going, <laughs> or it looks like it's going. And the, this road, Lots of people walking along the road, some people walking by the side, some people were dead, lying by the side of the road, some people had luggage, baggage, pull along, carry things, you know, that sort of thing. And there was this fine line line, and past this line, there were no people that were carrying any luggage or any baggage. So I thought, oh, this is an interesting analogy for, you know, how, how the vibration of the planet is starting to uh, raise dramatically. So they showed me at my inner garden, showed me this, uh, um, this uh, analogy whereby the vibration of the planet is raising so much so fast that all of our issues, our core issues and things that we are that we have is starting to come up and you'll see people freaking out in the middle of you know in the middle of the superstore having a spaz attack just because they're they they, their emotions are so, have, have, have risen so greatly that they're just falling apart. Falling apart in the streets, falling apart in riots, falling apart in all sorts of different things. I'm sure that uh, if you look at the news and with your own experience, 
you can see that there seems to be an increase of people just falling apart. Well, this falling apart actually is because the higher vibrations that are coming into the planet right now, which have been increasing uh, over the last five years, but increasing on a weekly basis now. For those of you who are sensitive uh, or just have this inner knowing, um, this, th these vibrations are increasing so much so that all of our con all of our baggage that we carry is coming up right in our faces because it has to be addressed. We have to put awareness into this, these issues in order to move past this line. So this is where we're at. So this is where I come in with some technology to help that. In a little while, we shall be giving each one of you one of these pendants. And this pendant is given the name uh, Light Body Activation. But first of all, before we give the pendant out, I'm going to give you a little description of the background behind the pendant and, uh, and a little bit about what it's going to do. And I, I'd like your participation in this. If you've got a mobile phone that you've just switched back on again, can you just put it aside? It doesn't have to be off, I just want it away from your body uh, because the, the more kinesthetic you are, you know, we've got three different ways of learning generally. We're either visual, uh, auditory, uh, or kinesthetic, or a bit of both. Uh, some people are one, more one way than the other. I'm pretty kinesthetic myself, touchy feely, and uh, some people are much more visual with less kinesthetic uh, ability to learn, or less ability to learn in a kinesthetic, touchy feely way. Okay. Uh, I can read the quote, but I'm sure you can read it. The freedom of the human spirit, mind, heart, resides in a level of consciousness untouched by the dualities of our earthly existence. The solution to the world's problems is consciousness. So that is, that is where, we're, that is where we're, we're heading with our technology. Our technology is designed to um, help remove those blockages and imprints of society that is causing us, is, is preventing us from waking up. So the, the particular device that we have here is to help remove those um, interferences that we have in everybody's system that's here. Everybody's human biosystem have interferences of different kinds. But there are certain interferences that, are, that we've inherited, uh, both genetically and epigenetically. Genetically about just, just below 10%, but epigenetically, that's information that's been put around our DNA in the epigenetic layer that we all have in this present in this room. Now some of these epigenetic informational layers that we have have been originally designed in order to stop us waking up, to inhibit that process. Well, the vibration of the planet is zooming ahead at an incredibly fast rate, and I think for the last hundred years, the human population has been suppressed in certain ways through whatever mechanism uh, that's caused us to be a bit slow in our spiritual progress. This is my own opinion, you can accept it or not. Um, but my experience is, I haven't been around for 100 years, half a hundred years perhaps, um, but my experience is that there seems, to, there seems to have been a sort of a, a lull in people's spiritual advancement. Now, uh, everybody here is on their spiritual path, obviously, everybody in the world is on a spiritual path, and those of you who are here are conscious that you're on your spiritual path, which is great. So this is a tool in order to remove some of those interferences so that you can fire up this light body. Now, if I can do the next one. The next one. Okay. I need to just uh, backtrack very slightly. The eLibra system um, is something we've developed over the last 25 years, and we use it not only as a clinical system to help um, release blockages in people in for their emotions, for their liver complaints, for their, um, you know, any energetic blockage or any, any, any energetic imbalance 
can be addressed by this system. So it's a system whereby you just connect up to the system and it runs through a complete scan, looks at your entire um, IO field and it will give you various different uh, remedies and things to balance the biofilm. It's great for that. But in addition to this, it allows us, the manufacturer, to use it ourselves for creating these enormously special formulas. And I'd like to move on to the next one, please. And these devices, I would call them devices, delivery mechanisms, um, on the left hand side we've got wristbands, which is one of the wristbands I'm wearing here, and some of you have seen uh, a wristbands that we had before for doing different things. Uh, a pendant, which I'm just about to give you uh, in this little packet. And <coughs> you can deliver remedies or, or um, formulas via mobile phone. Um, by little tiny tanks for children, gorilla tanks we call them, for autistic children, which is really, an, a, a, it's, a side, it's a side bit of information here, but um, we've developed this for um, a company called Neurotech, or Edutherapy as they prefer to be known. And they pioneered a hologram which has information in it, so much so that when it's delivered by our system, the hologram is built up within this tag. And as it's delivered to the person or the child in this particular case, the hologram works on very many different things all at the same time, or as the child needs it, in terms of learning difficulties, autism, etc. etc. The lady who's pioneered this and the program itself um, is one of our practitioners and we're working very closely to get it out to thousands and thousands of children. They've already just, we've just delivered 2,000 of these little packs for children. And so that's being rolled out as we speak. Uh, the next one on the right hand side, at the bottom, is for, for um, cats and dogs. Okay, so we have um, holograms which are formulas specifically there to balance animals in certain different ways. This particular one at the moment is just limited to a uh, stress program for, for dogs and cats and working wonderfully. Um, however, we are going to roll out a variable program for cats and dogs and the top one there is for horses. So from your mobile phone or your laptop or your tablet, you'll just be able to um, log on to our site and select from a menu of things that your doctor or the, the vet has said uh, the cat has got this problem or that problem you can just select from a push button uh, option list um, to say what the doctor has said and then you can just press the send button and it will within 90 seconds start sending corrective formulas to the tag for the animal this also applies to humans as well because we have exactly the same system just coming online or the kind of people wear wristbands, whereby we can um, have a selection of formulas, whether it be cold and flu, whether it be, you know, all sorts of manner of different things that we've got going on, plus a whole range of personal development formulas. One of which is going to be this uh, light body activation. So there are, um, we have a a product called the Healer's Assistant, which is, for some of you who have experienced this, uh, amplifies your own healing ability by a factor of whatever. But it's, really, it's a really fantastic experience to wear one of the wristbands and do your ordinary healing, regardless of what healing modality that might be. So it amplifies the whole thing up. Pretty exciting. So this will be available also from your mobile phone, your tablet, your computer, whereby you can just Go onto the web, our website, select your unique identity and your password and all that stuff, and select the program you want to run. Press the button, 90 seconds later, it will start coming through. So we've already um, loan tested our servers uh, for 100,000 tags per server. So we know that, that's, that software is working wonderfully. We've been developing it for <coughs> probably 15 years now. <laughs> But it is actually finished, so we're very proud to launch it in the next, uh, next month or so. Okay, may I have the next one, please? Um, so this is, we, we call the, this delivery system that you're going to experience, the WDS, which is our company, World Development Systems, Broadcast Technology. 
Because basically we have a way of using a quantum entanglement um, methodology that we've, we've created. In fact, I discovered it 25 years ago, but it's, it's no different in essence from anybody who does any healing at a distance. So I know lots of healers here. So if you're thinking of somebody at a distance and you send some beautiful healing and balancing and all that sort of thing, well, we've been able to capture that because of our technology and we can send at a distance to one of these devices, um, one of the pendants or a wristband or a little gorilla tag for the children. So we can create a formula um, of, of, of any nature, actually, and uh, whether it's uh, for a particular type of disease or whether it's for a particular type of meditation that we want to introduce, or if there's a group that's an MS group, for instance, that have particular things that they need to bring to balance, energetically, we can supply the, the corrective energetic patterns for just about anything that we're presented with. Um, it's, as I say, it's been an awesome journey so far, and things are really hotting up. I thought it was awesome before, but now it's just unbelievably awesome. Would you continue on, please? Okay. So what is the light body? Okay, I'll just, uh, I have an addition, additional notes here. So the light body, uh, referred to in different spiritual practices and different religions, is, can be called the bliss body, uh, the luminous body, the perfect body, the divine body, the rainbow body, the secret of transfiguration. Okay, so there's just a couple of examples of what different religions, different spiritual practices uh, have called this particular body. What I call it is uh, an interface between our biofield uh, and the, the infinite. So it's an infinite interface. I think I wrote something like that at the bottom. So the light body, the body radiates light energy and electromagnetically links your multi-dimensional multi self with the infinite universe. So we're back to infinite consciousness, which I thought was great uh, as, uh, as a good connection. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is we're going to uh, offer these pendants, and Sharon's going to uh, uh, offer them to uh, each row, and you can just pass them down if you'd be so kind. And we're going to have an experience. If you don't want an experience, that's fine. Please still accept the gift of the pendant, because uh, you may wish to pick it up later, uh, or give it to somebody else who uh, uh, might enjoy it. The, uh, the idea is to have an experience. So you can take it out of the packet or leave it in the packet, it doesn't make any difference, as long as, as, long as it's within three inches of your body. Because we're looking to put it into the etheric body, which nominally is about three inches plus from your physical body. So this is information at its best. This is an informational hologram. It has a formula. The formula has over 150 different components and it's designed to, um, to dissolve those interferences that stops the light body from becoming fully active. Now it does take several days for the whole thing to work, however, when you put it on, and in the next five, ten minutes, uh, you may actually have an experience anyway. Um, and whilst you're doing that, I'll just, uh, I'll just take a pair of glasses. And I can leave it soon. So what I suggest is that um, if you wore this for a whole week, okay, so it's got a around your neck, during the daytime, then the, the program is designed to dissolve some of those blockages that stop the light from firing up. Now, quite by chance, um, I gave one of these to... Um, yes, exactly. <laughs> um, earlier on, and already I've noticed that, because I can see this type of thing, because uh, that's the way I'm sort of an empath just to uh, add to those, that still set. So I can see people's light bodies and their chakras and things like that, so I have a, 
a, a good insight of what happens. But I didn't realise um, that. Um, what can I call you? Gil. That's it. I didn't realise that Gil had actually taken one of these. I sort of, I sort of showed him the box, thinking, well, "This is what we're going to do." Uh, but he said, he said and, and he took one because he thought I was giving it to him. So he, he's already been wearing this thing, and already I can see that in his field it's changed from what I would call normal. Um, there are people here, and I don't, I don't mean to be disrespectful for any spiritual practices that you've done, but there are most people here have got their life body sort of, you know, functioning and, and working, and, and that's great. And some of you, uh, particularly one or two, have got a very bright, uh, fired up. Um, light body, but there's still interferences that stop it from fully opening. So, this is the whole thing, is about having the experience here. So I'm going to shut up for a couple of minutes, shut your eyes, and just have an experience of whatever whatever's available for you. And I'll come back in five minutes. You, uh, I mean, you know, the, the blockages, and I don't, I, don't, I don't really see it as a blockage anything to do with you guys. It's more of a, um, an ancient stuff that uh, you know, we've, been, we've had to deal with in uh, this incarnation. So it's epigenetic stuff and that sort of thing that's, you know, that's been designed to, uh, to keep us a bit subdued. Um, so that stuff has to come up and go. So that stuff has to be dissolved. So some of you may feel it's a little bit heavy um, whilst it's doing its thing. Um, and some of you have been working on that, that sort of thing anyway. And uh, so you've just like burst into light. So well done for each of you still processing that. I suggest that uh, if you're willing and able to uh, keep with that process, because the process has started and it will take, or it can take several days for it to do its thing. But anyway, let's say uh, anybody want to give any feedback of any description, good or bad? <laughs> yes, Victor, uh, yeah. Um, as you know, I do uh, Reiki healing. There's probably a few healers in the room, and, and I do the Reiki healing. And when, when I'm with a client and I need to get ready for a Reiki healing, I have to concentrate and get into the zone. And then when I'm ready to heal, I get the uh, strong sensation in the palms of my hands which you know emanate the, the healing power and i found that as soon as i put on the pendant immediately my palms were burning hot just like how i am before a, before a healing session so uh, that's, that's interesting great right. okay thank you I, I, i've got some things to say to most people um the, so i felt my body go cold and, but then I felt myself in a crystalline world. So, just a crystalline world. But my feet were hot. So... All will be revealed. Anybody else? A pulse? A pulse? Yeah, definite pulsing. Definite pulsing. Yeah. Anywhere in particular in your body? Yeah. Yeah. Hit in your heart? In the diaphragm. A heart diaphragm area? Okay. I'm just collecting information and you'll see why. You put your hands up lots. So I'll show you come over there. And I felt all this white light around me. Yeah. And I felt all this white light around me. And I had a headache earlier and it's gone now. I feel much lighter. I feel like I'm floating up in the, in the heavens. It's really incredible. He started out with my crown chakra. Light stuff coming in. Yeah. And then just expanded. And then he went to the heart chakra now. And he just bouncing. It just stole the energy. Thank you, thank you. Anybody else? Right. Um, I have um, almost a medical case of a rhythmic heartbeat, and uh, I felt a very strong sensation in my heart, and as I monitor uh, my pulse, it's been more regular than it's been in a long time. Well, that's where the impulse is. Anybody else? Um, 
electron magnetic sensitivity, and so I started feeling the same feelings that I have when I'm close to Wi-Fi, like under my neck, the tingling of my ears. I also felt some vibration in my heart. Mm. Okay, all done. Let me do, uh, do a little bit of an explanation there. Uh, so thank you for uh, participating in uh, in that, and feedback is always uh, always welcome, whether it's good or bad. <coughs> but let me tell you um, what I've ex what I've discovered in order for me to uh, me and my team that is to be able to put something together. Um, my experience is that if we have our light bodies fully active all of the time, and I have a light body program in this wristband which I've been wearing all the time. Um, I find that uh, initially, for about a week, I could feel my light, my light body expanding, <coughs> and then some stuff would come up to do with you know, the things that we're trying to dissolve. That would come up in my body. I would have some awareness of that. Sometimes it was unpleasant, but actually there was always this, uh, the essence of this beautiful connection to source was always sort of underlying underlying the unpleasantness that uh, this dissolving that was going on that unpleasantness was sort of covered over by the fact that it felt you know it felt this heart connection what i then realized after about a week um, was that my field was really solid and some people mentioned you know sort of going down in the legs and things like this my my field now uh, having worn it for a couple of weeks now um, my feel feels really solid. I feel very, not, not grounded per se, but actually solidly connected somehow, in a new way. And I, I feel that my, uh, my telepathic abilities and my, uh, my ability to communicate with my guides and, and my team has vastly increased in just in a couple of weeks. So there's something going on. I'm, I'm able to see things in the room that perhaps I wouldn't have seen before. But then they reminded me, my inner team, they said, well, you know, there's this theory, uh, widely, uh, widely put about, that in a very short space of time, for us, uh, we will be able to see the unseen that walks among us. So I don't know whether you've heard of a phrase similar to that, is where you start to see ghosts and you start to see other beings of, of higher dimension that are actually walking among us anyway, we just haven't been able to observe them before. And I think this has actually helped that whole process. I've been able to, uh, to, to have a sense of the greater consciousness that, that surrounds us and being actually a part of it and, being, and stepping up in some way to being a part of that universal consciousness. So I think it's quite exciting, personally. Um, the things I see don't bother me. They're, they're always respectful. They're not negative in any way, but they're there. And to actually have that experience and thinking, this seems to be this seems to be a new a new chapter, and I hope for you it's the same sort of thing. So, uh, has anybody got any questions? You can move on to the next slides, but I kind of think we've done them. So, the light body is pendant. It is available to you for nothing, and it will it be it will retain its program for three years. So, please feel free to wear it yourself. Give it to family members to try. I suggest you keep it on for a week or do the sort of one week process before you give it away because for some of you it's 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 going to do it has a lot more to do and for some of you of course it just just burst into flames which is very exciting <laughs> so have you any questions about anything that i might have discussed yeah. yes sir uh, is this uh, is this somehow connected to your because you were speaking about this communication oh yes thank you um, so our, we have a, a broadcast server technology, so this is like a, a computer system. So our eLibra, which is our clinical system, we have connected to a server system. Uh, this is a computer server system, um, which allows us to uh, use the power of a server system to transmit to each one of these individual wristbands independently. So we, on each server, there are 100,000 devices registered on each server. That's the capacity of each server. Um, so we are able to send different formulas to each one of the wristbands or tags or devices or pendants 
that we have. And this, this uh, pendant is also connected to that server. So by the quantum entanglement process, this is scanned onto our server, and then we uh, literally talk to this pendant every 12 minutes. So every 12 minutes you get a little bit of information coming through just on top of this, this particular pendant. The pendant itself uh, is for the crystals. So it is a crystal, crystalline structure. Uh, we make the compound that we put into here, and it's got a, at least 80 different types of crystal in there. And we, we, um, um, we process the crystals and make up a very special compound, and then we have it um, um, molded into plastic with all of that. So as you know, you can charge up crystals um, with your mind, with your healing skills, or with our technology, we can connect to it at a distance using this quantum entanglement process that, uh, that healers do when they're you know, given healing at a distance. Uh, so we can just top up these things. We clear them out adverse energy as well. We send a little clearing thing, and, and then we send the formula that uh, is uh, registered to that. Yes, sir. Uh, assuming that you're bona fide, mm -hmm. right? Uh, that would mean that the energy that you're transmitting to us somehow is um, for our well-being. But suppose you were not. Suppose you're actually an evil genius. And, uh, you're transmitting dark energy. We would. How how do we know the difference between what you're sending or not sending? Well, that's a very valid point. Um, so what does it feel like? So for, for a lot of healers, myself included, um, the, <clears throat> if it's an adverse energy, then the adverse energy feels in the heart like a dagger. Uh, you know, it feels very painful. Um, just a, a little bit of background to what I've done in the past. Uh, I've been through various, I've had some wonderful, extraordinary teachers, of which I have a lot of gratitude for. And they've shown me how to um, I won't say defeat, but to dissolve these adverse energies and things. Because we make lots of products. We make products for clearing houses of anything that needs to be cleared. You know, we, we can uh, harmonize ley lines, we can get rid of things in the room that shouldn't be in the room. Uh, disembodied spirits, adverse entities, entities and adverse energies. So as an empath, I'm very sensitive to all of that type of thing uh, coming into a room or in, anywhere in my space. So as I've started to develop this and working with my inner guides and my team, I can detect very easily at many paces whether the energy of anybody or anything is um, in line with creation, connected to source. And it's surprisingly easy to develop the heart chakra in such a way that we can, we can easily feel and learn to recognize truth and also recognize adverse intent and so I use that process of when I'm connecting to source and connecting uh, the pendant itself, for instance, has a beautiful connection to source. So at the moment it might be a bit rough and raw because it's doing stuff, it's doing healing. You know, and healing means stuff comes up um, and it can be a little raw whilst, whilst it comes up and it starts to dissipate. But when that's done, this, this pendant, this experience, should actually have this beautiful connection to source. And if, and if it feels right in the heart, it probably is. And if any of you feel uncomfortable about it, that's okay too. Please put it aside, maybe, maybe not for you. But it should be for everybody. I think I've created the formula in such a way that it should feel, uh, it should feel mostly better, it, it should feel absolutely beneficial to everybody that wears it. Time. Oh, I think there's one more question. Yeah. Yeah. Just a practical question. When I use my wallet, Mobile phone or use my computer. Yeah. What happens with the information? Uh, nothing really. Go ahead. The mobile phone. That's, that's because if you've got a mobile phone in your pocket, yeah. your body's fighting off all of this huge um, transmission that's going on in your pocket, and it damages your biofilm. So having a nice subtle experience with this would be much more difficult if you've got this big interference coming in by your mobile phone. So that's the only reason. But you can wear this and use your mobile phone. Yes. It was just for this experience. Oh yeah, thank you. Well, if you can all show your appreciation for Victor, what a wonderful presentation. Thank you.
Chris, uh, I'd like to say, in answer to your question, um, Pip's a very modest guy, and as I've got to know him, um, he's a very, very, well, and Sharon, they're both very deeply beautiful spiritual people, um, um, and they're, what they're doing is for the benefit of mankind 100%. Um, they come here at their own expense, and of course, to manufacture the technology that goes into this, and the, the crystals they put in each pendant, uh, to, to come here, and they have a business to run, so obviously they have to charge for their, for their products. But everyone here has been given one of their wonderful products totally free of charge. And we really do appreciate that, thank you. And uh, I'm feeling great already. <laughs>